Hello everyone and welcome back. This is my most recent acquisition when it comes to electronics and as you can probably guess from what you're looking at some of you may already know what this is but I'm going to leave that for a surprise for those who don't. Um, anyway we're going to do a grand opening now and uh, just want to let people know this is not a review. I've just um, acquired this just recently and so uh, it's more or less an overview and maybe a demonstration of, uh, of what's inside. Well, I, I guess the uh, boss emblem would have been a dead giveaway. But here we have a complement uh, of pedals which are designed for bass guitar. Um, so anyway, what exactly is in this, uh, this case? Well, actually, the, there are several pedals as you can see here. But uh, this would be probably the best way to start. Here we have the actual power supply. Uh, pedal. It uh, basically supplies um, power to all the other pedals by this, uh, this wiring in here. It's like a daisy chain. Now I noticed right off the bat somebody left two of these uh, plugins on this side of, uh, of the, um, the casing, whereas they should have left one on this side and run the daisy chain on to the other pedals. And uh, over in this area here, they should have left one uh, sticking out in this area here. So you can possibly put something in here that would be powered by 9 volt, like a tuner or something. And you can also put something in here. But I'm going to rectify that problem. Anyway, moving on. So this is the actual unit that will uh, provide power. You uh, plug it in here. Uh, this goes to your amplifier. And your guitar plugs in here bass guitar. Anyway you can turn along and off just like a boss switch. The boss switch typically right here. Uh, the next one in line here is the uh, bass limiter enhancer. Uh, just so people would know. Uh, like I said this is not a review. But uh, this typically could be a pedal that you would keep on uh, for the whole, uh, the whole night for your, uh, for your performance. Uh, and, uh, and the next one to it also can be left on. A compressor sus uh, compression sustainer. This one can also be left on. But the next pedal is an octave pedal, which basically you'd have to, I'd have to give you a demonstration to, to show you what it sounds like. But uh, for those of you who do know, um, it actually plays, it can play the actual uh, physical note of, or notes of the bass guitar, but it can also play notes below and above. So it sounds like almost like three different bass uh, guitars playing. And it uh, can actually sound really high when you're, uh, when you set it right and it almost sounds like a lead guitar when you're playing it. So this is kind of like a pedal that you could use but you, you wouldn't use constantly, although you could, uh, depending on the setting, but uh, it's not, uh, you know, not something that you'd, I would leave on all night and I probably, probably wouldn't use it at all actually. Uh, but this pedal is probably the most popular pedal that you'll ever see a bass player use, I would think. This is just my personal opinion folks. The bass chorus, um, this is a pedal that could be left on all night, obviously, um, uh, because um, it's, uh, it's a very subtle pedal, uh, although I'll be honest with you, I've been playing bass for a long, long time, and I've always just used the bass guitar and my amplifier, and that's it. But uh, I've been dabbling around with uh, different sounds and stuff like that, so I decided to pick this up. And give this a try and I don't know if I'm going to implement this uh, into playing all the time with uh, with the uh, pedals but it certainly works for me because now all I need to do is take my my powered um, DXR 10 Yamaha cabinet with me very light and very powerful and hook it up to this uh, these pedals and uh, that's all I would need but here's the trick this year this will be awesome for rehearsal, and I could even just use this as an EQ to set the sound of my bass going into um, the speaker. Now, the, my bass guitar does have control, uh, you know, parametric controls, bass and treble and mid and mid scoop and things like that, and you can blend your different pickups and all that. But uh, this would be awesome for practicing this this pedal right here, the bass equalizer. So uh, I'm going to try to keep this, keep this video short. Like I say, it's just an overview and a little demo. And so I'm going to uh, put some power on the, uh, the power supply that's uh, provided here. 
it's already plugged in. And uh, I'm going to send a cord, this cord here, into the powered uh, speaker and just do some demo work uh, on the different pedals for you. Stand by. Okay, uh, now we have everything all set up. The, the uh, guitar is plugged into here, and this is going to the powered speaker. That would be going to your monitor, your mixer, or your, your bass amp. So right now we have the power supply pedal. It's off, as you see the light is green. So basically it's sending, uh, it's giving me just the, uh, just the mix that's coming from the guitar and whatever has been set up on the, on the powered speaker, which is just basically um, volume. So, so now when I turn the pedal on, the light will turn from green to red. I, I'm hoping you can see that. It may not show up, but it's, uh, yeah, it's not even showing up green, but it is green, trust me. So now, even though the pedals have power, I was bypassing them. So I guess the next pedal that I'd like to touch on would be, now that I have power put to the pedals, and this here pedal is now off, is the EQ. I've already preset this to what I find sounds good uh, through this, uh, this uh, powered speaker. And so now I'll turn it on, and of course I'm going to be leaving that on. And I'll just give you a demonstration. There's a level on, on the right-hand side. That might be a bit too loud. There's a level right here. You can turn it down, or you can boost it. And this is uh, basically uh, your EQ, and I've got a set. So that's uh, once this is set, I don't have to touch it. I am going to turn it down though. That's pretty good. Okay. Excuse the noise because sometimes you get a bit of signal coming through um, the um, the camera. I'm using the camera mic, and so uh, that can cause some trouble sometimes when it comes to hiss. That's been my experience. So we're leaving the EQ on, and now we're moving to the bass chorus, and I'm going to leave this on. So basically. Uh, I don't know if you can hear this, hopefully you can. I'm going to boost the uh, actual level of the effects, so you'll hear it. And uh, I'll turn up the rate in the, so you can hear that now. So I turn it off. On. Now that doesn't sound the best, but I'm going to... Just turn this back. That doesn't sound the best neither. Uh, well, the rate is a bit too high, maybe. That should sound okay there. This pedal here, the, the, middle, the beauty part of it is your bass strings, the, you know, the lower strings, you can actually decrease the amount of chorus that goes to the, the, um, the bass strings and the, the more fine strings uh, will have more pronounced uh, chorus. And I think that is done through here, the low filter here. So uh, I think if I turn it right up, it means all the strings on the bass guitar, including the low B on this one, will get the chorus sound. So that's that's pretty good. I'd, I'd like to have a sort of like a balance in between uh, the high to, to the low, but uh, I would certainly cut that back a bit. We're going to leave that on. Here's the, the, the uh, pedals that we can leave on constantly as well, which is the uh, compression sustainer which has already been preset and it's already on by the way. This one has been shut off accidentally. Uh, this is the bass limiter enhancer and that just basically gives you more control over uh, the actual EQ of the, of the bass, the sound, and, and so I'll turn it on as well. Uh, like I say, this is not a review. Um, so I'm going to move over to the Octaver. Here's something, a pedal that I would probably seldom use, but it's fun. 
it's a bit of fun. I'm going to turn it to half. Typically that's what they say, turn your, uh, your direct level to about half. And um, let's see what that does. Nothing, uh, the more door was turning, but uh, this is the deception part of everything. Okay, let's turn that back to where it was. You can probably hear the distinct uh, octave of music. You can actually hear the guitar itself, but then there's a, a lower uh, note being played in the same octave and higher. So I'm going to put them all on 12 o'clock. And I'm sorry about that. And I was wondering why it wasn't working. This is something new to me, folks. Uh, I've never used an octave before, so my apologies and bear with me. So let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> Overly in love with it, but it's possibly if you set it right, it would probably work for some songs. But I can't see being using it all night, as you can tell, right? Let's try that setting. I'm going to turn it off shortly. Off. register uh, playing down the neck it certainly sounds a bit more into I guess what you could say um, makes sense when you're playing this with this octave pedal on Uh, do something crazy here. Let's turn the octave one down and turn the octave two up. Again, not something I would use, and I apologize for the phone call uh, earlier, but uh, these things happen when you're trying to do a uh, one-take uh, thing. Um, so anyway, this is it. Uh, I want to thank you guys for uh, sticking around, watching the video. I apologize a bit long and a bit, uh, sometimes I get a bit, uh, uh, sometimes I just talk too much and ramble on, so uh, that's common, but I guess you're getting used to that by now. If you're stuck around, you certainly know about it. So this is a basic setup of... Um, a typical bass player's uh, pedals, multi-pedals. Uh, I, I personally think I would prefer to have one pedal with multi-effects and uh, multi-effects in front of me, with, and just pick you know the presets that you have. But uh, these here are more intuitive and they're hands-on. So if you want whatever one you want on, you can turn it on and off. So it's probably easier for somebody that doesn't like the complication of computers and settings and programming and things like that. 
So uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.